Welcome to our webinar on the Template Management Module. Today we will be going over the following aspects of this often overlooked module. First, membership cards. Both the option to print at home and the option to add it to your Apple or Google wallets. Then we're going to briefly touch on the merge fields that allow you to use templates in our system. After that, we will move on to donation thank you letters. Finally, we will have a short overview of gift cards. Here is an example of a print at home membership card. When in implementations or when adding memberships to your organization, you will receive a template from us similar to this one. You can then add coloring, add logos to your liking, as well as Edit any wording here that does not have angle brackets around it. Once you have edited this to your liking, you can then go to the template management module. Once you have your membership card to your liking, you're going to want to come to the org or suborg where your memberships are located within the template module. Once here, you're going to want to select New Template and then hit OK. And here, you're going to want to add a description that makes it clear to your customers that this is where they should go for their print at home and or digital membership card. Please note that this description will be visible to your customers. Here, for template type, we're going to leave it at activity template. And share template, we're going to select this organization, affiliates, and all child organizations. And then here, we're going to select the file that we've created. And once you've selected the file, you can hit Add. Once the file has been added to your template list, you can now come here to Assign Templates to Items. And here, you're going to select the memberships you would like to add this membership card template to. In this case, we're going to select Individual Membership and hit Add. Once you have assigned this template to the memberships you would like, you can hit Done. And finally, we're going to come here to Map Template Fields. Once in the Map Template Fields, you are going to take these template field names and map the data source, which is all of the information that comes in when someone signs up for a membership and map it to what shows up from the membership cards. So in this case, our membership level will be the name of the membership. Our primary first and primary last will be the first and last names that come in when someone signs up for a membership. The end date will be the expiration date and the QR code will be the membership number that is assigned once the membership has been created. The other things on this page that we want to point out are the content format. We always recommend doing a PDF as well as the report access options. You're going to want to make sure that you display this link to download the report on the receipt. This will allow your customers to be able to download and print their memberships from their receipt once they buy their membership. The last thing on here is you want to make sure that these display formats are all text with the exception of the bottom one. With the bottom one, we're going to want a barcode 128. This allows you to scan the membership when you are in the sales station. Finally, the two fields here on the right are only available to Double Knot employees. This means if you would like to have the ability for your members to add 
digital copies of their membership cards to their Apple Wallet or their Google Pay Wallet, you will need to reach out to support at doublenot.com for us to be able to map these fields and turn them on for your organization. And this is what it should look like mapped out for the last two columns on the right. Now we can hit save. Once you have mapped the template fields, you should be good to go. We always recommend testing before you announce something to your customers. In this case, we will want to go to a membership that has one of the memberships that you selected for this template. Here we have an example constituent in constituent management. You can select details. And then from the left side, you can select memberships and then come to an active membership. Click view details here. Once clicking the link, you will be greeted with this page. This page will give you the option to download your membership card to be able to print at home or to be able to add a digital version to your digital wallet on your phone. Clicking on the Print at Home will trigger an automatic download of a PDF. If we open this PDF, you can see the example here where our template has been used and the member's information has been added to the card. Here, an example of a membership card that has been added to a digital wallet. As you can see, the organization name is here, the member's name is here, as well as the description of the membership level itself, and finally, the QR code is here. Now let's talk a little bit about merge fields. Merge fields are all words or phrases that are surrounded by angle brackets. For example, the membership level here. If we select the membership level and then right click it, you can toggle the field codes to see what coding is contained within the merge field. Selecting edit field will give you a list of field names as well as formats that the field name can come into. In general, we like to keep merge fields as the field name, and we'll really only use the formatting if you would like everything in uppercase, lowercase, first capital, or title case. Coming down here to end date, if you select and then right click toggle field, you will note that the end date coding has a format of month, day, and a four digit year. You can edit this in the merge Coding. And this is really the only coding that we recommend that you edit if you would like to do so for a different formatting for expiration or dates in general. There will be another example of formatting a date field within a merge field coming up on the donation letter. Now, donation letters. Here is an example of a donation letter template we can send you to edit as needed. And we have gift date here. If you toggle the field codes, as stated previously, this is the one instance in which we can recommend, if you would like, to be able to edit the formatting of the date here. Once you have finished editing the template to your liking, you can come here to template management as before, select new template. In this case, we are going to want to again, make sure that you are in the organization sub-organization where your donations are located. And again, the description is going to be visible to your donors, so you're going to want to make sure you keep that in mind. 
In this case, we're just going to put thank you letter. We're going to leave this as activity template, and we're going to make sure that we share this template with this organization, affiliates, and all child before selecting our file. And then adding it. Once you have added the thank you letter to the template list, you can come here to assign templates. This is going to go to our horse riding camp donation fund for this example. Once you have added the activity to the right hand side, you can then hit done. And then you can come down here to map template fields. And here, again, as before, you're going to want to make sure you display the link to download on the receipt. And you're going to want to make sure that the template field name and the data source are matching. So here, first name, last name, address, city, state, postal code, first name to amount and gift date. And finally, you're going to want to make sure that the template field name and the data source field name match. Once you have matched them up, you can hit save. Okay. And finally, you're going to want to make sure that the template field name and the data source field name are matched. Please note the error message here. Merge field's first name and first name two are mapped to data source field first name. Data source field can only be used once. So in this case, we're going to change first name two to registered by first name. Now, as you can see here, on an example donation for the horse riding fund, you can see the additional documents here where you can click on your thank you letter. And clicking on the thank you letter will automatically download a PDF as before. And here, as you can see, the templates have mapped correctly. And here is the thank you letter for a $75 donation. And finally, gift cards. Here's an example of a gift card template we will send you if you decide to add gift cards to your organization. As with the other templates, you can Edit any wording here that is not surrounded by angle brackets, as well as any logos here. Now, gift cards are a little different, as you will need a little bit of help from the support team, since the support team will have to create the gift card processor on our end for your organization, as well as create a website to sell your gift cards online if you would like to do so. Once you have created your gift card template to your liking, again, you're going to want to go to Template Management, and you're going to want to select New Template. As usual, you are going to want to add the template to the organization or sub-organization where your gift cards are going to be located within the store. Here, it's going to put gift card. 
And here we are actually going to select gift card for the template type. And as before, share the template with this organization as well as affiliates and all child organizations. Now we're going to choose our gift card file and select add. Once the gift card has been added to the template list, we are going to assign templates to items. And here you can see that the available gift cards here is a $25 gift card. When you request to add gift cards to your organization, a support member, once they have created the processor within your organization, will create an example gift card for you to be able to use and create further gift cards in other denominations as you would like. Here is our example $25 gift card. We're going to go ahead and add that to our assigned gift cards and then select done. And then we're going to come here to map template fields. And map template fields as before, we're going to want to report content format as a PDF. And we're going to want to make sure that the map field name for the templates matches up with the data source field name that is collected when a purchase is made. Then we're going to come here and hit save. And as you can see here is a receipt for a purchase of a $25 gift card. And here is the download link for the gift card. And here you see the generated PDF as well as our gift card with our purchaser's information and the gift card number, description, purchase date, amount, and the organization the gift card was issued from. Again, please note, if you would like to add gift cards to your organization, reach out to our support team so we can assist you with this project. This concludes our template management webinar. If you have any questions, please contact our support team at support at double knot dot com or call 1-888-839-8150. If sending in an email, please provide us with as much information as possible so that we can better assist you. Thank you.